Hello, it's DX5 Jose Maria Baran here. I'm just testing my Roland JP8000, which has been recently serviced. It had some problems in the output, so there was some noise present, as well as uh, the keyboard was acting uh, with a strange behavior lately. But fortunately, things are fixed now, so I just set the keyboard uh, working and uh, loaded the backup file containing all the, so the sounds I created and the, and the performance combinations I created uh, during these last years. Uh, briefly explaining, this keyboard is, uh, whereas it has a digital circuitry in, inside, it's intended to be an emulation of the analog synthesizers uh, from early 80s by Roland. In fact, you can spot on the the, the layout, the panel layout is quite similar to the Junos. You get the oscillator 1, oscillator, you know, even the Jupiter 8 on a certain way, not exactly the color. So, oscillator 1, oscillator 2, you get the filter with the dedicated knobs for uh, envelopes and so forth, and the uh, key follow and envelope depth and so forth. The amplifier uh, with the envelope, the VCA. There is, there are really two LFOs, you get an arpeggiator, uh, buttons for accessing accessing the sounds and, and some controls like the tone control uh, and effects like chorus and delay and so forth. You can split the keyboard into uh, different uh, areas. Uh, you can use it uh, in layer mode, in dual mode, uh, they call uh, that way, so you can layer two sounds on the same key or in single mode. So let me just show you uh, some of the most famous sound for, for this synth. You will recognize this preset uh, very quickly, I, I think. As you can check, this sounds really warm and really analog. I really love the sound of this synthesizer, despite it's uh, digital, but it sounds quite quite analog in, in more in more in a lot of aspects. So, if we talk about a famous song from the JP8000, no doubt you have to go. Let me just set some of the parameters to get exactly the sound I want right now. We have to go, no doubt, to the Super Sau. Okay, the Super Sau is basically seven uh, sawtooth waveforms uh, stuck together and slightly detuned tune between themselves. So, for, just for showing you how this thing works, this is a single sawtooth. Sounds quite thin. But if I add more layers and then I start to detune those layers with this uh, fader. So it's quite interesting, the Super Sound. It became a, a signature sound for a lot of uh, trans anthems in the late 90s. And even more, if you want to use the left side of the keyboard and then put an arpeggiator for the lower sounds, we can get this thing which fits quite well. Let me uh, set the velocity, the tempo. So it's quite interesting. I'm just surfing across a couple or three of the sounds, uh, sound combinations I made across these years, which I use uh, mostly on my covers. For instance, you can find uh, this uh, sound uh, for cho choosing just one. Uh, this is B-Movie, Nowhere Girl. These are um, two sounds layered. Uh, for instance, more famous sounds. Uh, Just can't get enough by the patch mode. And uh, for instance, another famous sound could be this one. The model by Kraftwerk. And uh, just uh, showing you any other. Uh, for instance, this could be interesting. Uh, okay, uh, just uh, demonstrated before the living on video. 
And there is an interesting feature on the JP1000. Uh, let's see if the sound doesn't sound distorted, because sometimes it's not the keyboard, but the, the camera preamplifier. Sometimes it makes a little bit of noise with certain sounds. So you sure you will remember this. Let's see what happens now. Check my left hand. It's fantastic. This is a sequence I uh, recorded uh, and uh, I assigned a key to be the one triggering that sequence whenever I need it to be triggered. So it's quite interesting because for a live performance you can set, I don't remember how many keys, but you can set certain keys and every key can trigger a different, a completely different sequence pre-recorded by me. What's quite useful, especially for, for this, for this song. So, uh, what else? Okay, there, are, there could be more sounds, but uh, just for the moment I think it's uh, quite uh, enough. So, uh, thank you very much and see you on the next uh, cover or on the next live streaming. So, bye, thank you.